from Rome. everybody and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here hello and welcome my name is Morgan and I'm currently on a week's trip solo traveling around Rome this is now day four yeah day four of my trip today I have another very exciting day ahead I've got tickets to go see the Pantheon this morning and then later on I've got some other plans for this afternoon um, including lots of Italian eating again um, so if you love food then be sure to stay tuned to see what I eat I'm sure it will involve pizza or pasta maybe both somewhere along the lines uh, if you are new here be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when I next post and if you enjoy this video Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up at the end. Little outfit check for you all. We got my Nike Air Force, my pink cargoes, and then this Hollister top. And then I will be wearing my white puffer jacket coat. Um, now I'm going to go grab some breakfast because I'm very hungry. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so I've just had breakfast, as you will have seen. I had some granola with some yoghurt and then some cake as well. I did actually go and get a second slice of cake. I was very hungry this morning. I don't know why, because I had a massive dinner last night, but I just woke up with such an appetite. Anyway, it's now five past nine and I'm just wait making my way to the Pantheon. So, it's so weird seeing this square empty in comparison to when I came yesterday. But I guess it's because it's a Sunday and it's like 20 past nine. Anyway, I'm gonna go and join the queue to go in. Right, well, I've just come out of that. There wasn't too much to look at, but um, it was like really nice to see. There were like different tombs. There was um, Raphael's tomb, and then there was someone else's tomb as well. I can't remember whose. Um, but yeah, so that was that. Um, now I'm gonna walk over towards Piazza Navona, I think it's called. Um, go see that because I haven't seen that yet. So I've just come across this, I'm assuming, chapel, church, um, and it looks beautiful. So I'm going to go check that out. I'm not even sure what it is. really lovely um, for me to just sort of stumble across this morning so it was the church of San Andrea um, and they had like the ceilings now were amazing and they had like um, reflective mirrors for you to look up at them as well so that was really cool um, I didn't stay in there too long though because they were in the middle of like a mass service because it's Sunday morning just after 10 um, so yeah now i'm gonna make my way well continue making my way back over to piazza navona here we are guys piazza navona and that's another very grand building over there however it looks very different from the rest because it looks very modern but nonetheless i like it a lot 
please trust me to sit on a bench that was wet and I'm wearing my pink trousers. Oh no. So I finished looking around the square and now I've decided to come and visit the castle um, which I'm just heading up for now. I can just about make it out. What's the time? Nearly 11 o'clock. So yeah, and then I'm hoping I can buy a ticket to go around that because I thought that might be nice. Um, but we shall see. I don't know if you have to have pre-bought them. If not, I can just stand and look at it from the outside I guess. Yeah. And then that'll be another site ticked off the list. Here we are everyone. So that's the Castle San Angelo. This is just my luck guys. Basically, I was in the queue to go in. And then the queue wasn't moving anywhere. I'd been stood for like over half an hour and it's like boiling hot in the sun. And then I thought, you, and then there was another queue for if you had a reservation already. So I was like, I'll just go online and make a reservation. Literally put my card details in, paid everything. As I pressed pay, the line moved up and I could have gone in, but then I couldn't because I was like, well, if I go in from this line, I'll have to pay again inside. <laughs> Um, and now I'm just stood here because I've got an email to say my reservations being processed but I have to wait up to 30 minutes for my reservation to now go through. <laughs> reservation came through. We're on our way in. So now I'm on the lower level, I can talk to you more from down here because number one, it's not as crowded and number two, I'm outside. Um, let me show you what I can see. So that's like the fort bit where I was up there. See, and that's the um, statue at the top that you would have seen in the previous bit of footage. And then these are like where they used to have like cannons around the edge. Right, so I have just come out of the castle. Um, that was really good again. It was like another piece of Roman architecture that's like really just makes you say wow, like Honestly, every single thing I've seen since getting here, it's like there aren't enough words to describe it and all of the footage you'll be seeing, like in all these videos, it just doesn't do it any of it justice. Um, but yeah, so that was that. The time now is five past one and I'm feeling very hungry, so I'm gonna go and head to go get some lunch. My plan is to go and get some pizza for lunch. Um, there's one place that I've seen a review for that is just the other side of the Vatican that apparently is meant to be some of the best pizza in Rome. So we're gonna go and see. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys when I get there. You can see a queue of people down there, so I'm guessing that's where it is. But this place is like, so, um, it's like so out the way, like there's literally no tourists around here. So I think it's a spot that only like locals know about. So that being the case, it probably is really nice um, pizza. 
So, we shall wait and see. Oh, it's the place alright, and it's very busy. And you have to take a number. Um, and they call your number out when they'll serve you. Oh my gosh, what a waste of time. Um, in summary, I've decided to scrap that idea. So, I was number 90. You had to take a ticket, and then they serve you when your number comes up. Um, and basically, the lady then shortly afterwards put a sign on the door saying all numbers sold um if you want to order you'll have to come back at 5 p.m and i was like wait what and then i overheard someone explaining to somebody else that they only do numbers up to 100 when it gets to 100 they don't take any more orders i'd been stood there for 10 minutes and we were still on number 35 and I was like are you telling me I'm gonna have to wait until nearly 5 p.m. to get my lunch so um, yeah that was a waste of time and now like I said to you I'm about a mile away from where anything is so I'm gonna walk back into the Vatican City bit and then pick something up from there, I guess. <laughs> I got myself some pasta. Um, as you can see, I've eaten like half of it so I ate it whilst I was walking. But I've just come and I'm sat back in this square outside of St. Peter's. Right, that was very much needed. I feel a lot better now. Um, also, I feel like I've probably got all bits of pesto in my teeth, so... Anyway, I've now got a really long walk back over to the centre. Because I don't really want to get the metro because they don't do individual tickets. You either buy a 24-hour ticket or no ticket at all. And the 24-hour tickets, like, they're a good price if you're planning on getting the metro a lot. But obviously, I'm just making one trip, so... I just have to walk in it. It's like 1.6 miles back to Treby from here. <laughs> everybody um i haven't given you an update in a very long time it is currently quarter past seven i think last you saw of me i was eating my gelato at that gelato shop which that was about half four quarter to five so i ate my gelato and then i came back to the hotel at like five o'clock have just been chilling out and then now I'm just about to leave to go out and get some dinner. So that's where we're up to. Um, since I didn't get pizza for lunch, I'm thinking pizza for dinner because do I want pasta again? Not really. Um, but yeah, we shall see. <laughs> yesterday's pizza was good but no tonight's pizza that was a whole new level and to make it even better so I had the pizza and then obviously just some water um, which water standard like four euros for a bottle um, so the pizza and the water only came to 16 euros like my pizza was only 12 euros. No, yeah, 12 euros. And I thought that was really good because most places, pizza's that size, 
are like anywhere up to like 18 to about 25 so honestly it was a bargain um so yeah now i'm just walking back to the center the time is nine o'clock so yeah i'm gonna walk back through via, via Trevi and I'll update you in a bit. I just got myself a cannoli for dessert. I don't really know what it is. It's like sort of like biscuit with pistachio cream in it. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. I'm gonna put my camera away so I can eat it properly. Update all. It's now 9:20. I've just walked back from the Trevi Fountain after finishing having eaten my cannoli, which was really nice. Like, I didn't know what to think of it, but I actually really liked it. So highly recommend that if you're in Rome grab a cannoli whilst you stand and gaze in awe at the Trevi Fountain <laughs> so yeah I'm just on the way back to the hotel now I have eaten so much today and I can't possibly eat anything else now so until tomorrow that is the end of the Italian eating <laughs> so yeah 21 30 over and out <laughs> anyway if you have enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and head on over to my socials where i've posted more content on there as well um and make sure you've hit the notification bell to be notified when i next post as the next video will be my last and final day in Rome, day five tomorrow. Um, so yeah, make sure you don't miss out on that. Thanks for watching.